So it is Wednesday. We get the EIA numbers every Wednesday, 10.30 a.m. Eastern Time. We're checking out. We have the November contract for crude up right now. Crude trading 71.77. And what we're going to take a look at here, so it's 10.19 on the dot. We've got 11 minutes until the numbers. We're going to take a look at possibly some volatility trades for bullish and bearish action. And what's nice here is that so we have the contract trading at 71.77. And we'll start off with the 11 a.m.s. And we're looking for spreads with you know upward yeah. and downward exposure good. right like so it. yeah 71 so, 75 right and so right now we're trading at 71 75 the bullish one is costing us about 20 dollars and that's going to be pretty much all premium we have yes. one penny of intrinsic value right now that it's above that and then on the flip side of that we have a similar spread just with a dollar 50 to the downside pretty similar pricing the difference being you have that one to two pennies of intrinsic value on the bullish side yes so you're paying about forty dollars representing forty cents that you would need away from 71.75 to become your break even in either direction, the key being that, okay. right? Just volatility, yeah. waiting for that news number. Now that's your 11 a.m. expiration, so you'd have a half hour after the news. And let's see how the noons line up. Noons line up, a little bit different price point, right? Because we've got some uh, action yeah. in oil this morning already. Right. So what this takes upon is this takes upon a little bit of a bearish bias because we have oil trained at 71.79. Our bullish contract has no value until you reach 74, so it's going to be a little bit less expensive because you're out of the money. Your bearish contract is going to be a little more expensive because you, and as oil's taken up, now we have about 19 cents of intrinsic value. So we're looking at $54, uh, excuse me, no, $51. Uh, not that bad, though. $51, no, it's not especially if you have a little bit of a bearish bias because you have a head right. start to the downside, right? You know, your bearish one has your... 20 cents, call it, of intrinsic value. Right. Uh, and you do have just exposure in both directions, but obviously you can see, you know, if you want to reach break even, your downside is a much quicker reach to break even it than is. your upside is. But you're still only talking about 20 cents. You know, sometimes we get some big moves on these Wednesdays oh, occasionally, yeah. um, even as we're talking, right? What time this is this? This has moved around a lot. And, yeah. and of course, you, you have the political deal with the United Nations yes. is going. You know, the, yeah, we we're just the, talking we're to Ben good. Lichtenstein. He was talking about yeah. Iran possibly forming, you know, some type of deal with other countries to make sure that they could sell their oil to them right. and so forth, right. kind of loopholing the possible if sanctions. That, if they pull that off, uh, bottom line is that that adds more oil in the market ASAP, and that the market will react to ASAP. Definitely. You know? Now, so the that was the noon expiration, right? That was going to cost us about fifty-one dollars, which would represent about fifty-one cents, and we would have needed that away from seventy-two dollars, yes. right? Now, jump into the 230s. I'm just going to jump around real quick. Yeah. So what's nice is the 230s are the same as the Same noons. in the noons. Yeah. Okay. Now, number one, instead of having a buck 50, you're going to have $5. Right. Not bad, because you're really going to pay very little premium for that extra, like, three dollars because yeah. there's a very low probability it can happen it's a little premium but we do get it as you get till 2 30. exactly that's and what you're gonna half hours. you are gonna pay for that because that's a real um that's something that's gonna factor sure. into these contracts so bullish spread again now we're out of the money on the bullish spread so that's going to be our less expensive of the two By starts 25 at 75 cents yep okay so that one's going to cost like us 50, 22 dollars yeah. or 22 okay. cents and then on the bearish side same thing we got five dollars of exposure this is going to be a more expensive one because we have 26 cents yes. of intrinsic value cost us about 48 the two combined cost you 70 dollars on the dot so you start to need 70 cents from 72 dollars to right. break even now what I want to throw and you into have there. 25 cents already, though. Only on the downside. Only on, on the, the downside. Side. On That's the it, side. you know. Yeah. Right. Um, the, the flip side of that is to reach break even Boom. on the bullish side, you need almost a full dollar, right? right? But we're only looking at closing one of those positions, too, in that analysis. Right. What you have to consider is that you can always close out one position. So let's say we get those numbers and we'll follow it up. We're now at 1023, right? We're right. seven minutes away from the EIA numbers. Right. So it's trading at 7175. Let's say your first initial spike is downward, but you say, you know what? Whatever I saw in the numbers, my market bias is I think it's going higher, man. I think it was right. going higher. And you could close out your bearish spread, take that money off the table, yes. and then you'd have bullish exposure until 2.30 if it trades back above $72, which we've seen many times. Oh. Not sure it's going to happen today. We'll find out in about and 10 minutes. It, 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 I mean, it looks on a longer term basis that we're into a, the bar that we're into, the top of that bar is like 75 bucks. So it's like, okay, man, you know, it doesn't have to go there today. But it's, you know, when you look on the left-hand side of the chart, it's eight into a bar and we broke above the consolidation. 
Okay. But we've been in for six months. Okay. So, you know, you, you just technically looking at it, it's like, okay, you could hit 75 bucks. You Could know? you hit 65? Maybe. I, I feel like you're pushing a little market bias into that conversation. Just as, you know what I mean? It's, it can hit well, 75, just, it can I, hit 65. I, I, I'm, I'm that's, just showing you the... There's two the, sides to every I'm, market. That's I'm, all I'm pointing out I there. understand that. I'm just showing you the consolidation, and it broke out of the consolidation. You know? I mean, oil basically broke out. You know? We, we, you pull this baby up, you know, you're going to see... Oh, yeah. The consolidation is down here at... Uh, Right there. Sure. You know, so I mean... You know. For everyone saying it's going higher, though, somebody's going to say, you know what, it might trade back into that consolidation. Oh, I'm just pushing yeah, on, you know. For sure. Yeah. yeah. You know, and it, when, we, when we take a look at this, what you're going to see is the... The thing is going to get wild. If you get the barrels of oil, the gasoline is what's going to affect us all. You know, and you can see that, that we're into that bar. 69 is the bottom of that bar, and 74 is the top. Nice, and that yeah. is July 13th. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. A week Quite day. a bar. That's yeah. a weekly, right? Yeah. No, that's when that's when we were on too. That's when oil went down four dollars in one day. One day. Yeah. 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 So that. Would you, that's a nice day to have some volatility trades on. Volatility <laughs> trade on that day. Exactly. And exactly. I think that might have been an EIA Wednesday. I'm not sure, but it, I believe it, it, it could have been. Yeah. yeah. And I believe that's the one that. First, it went higher, and then it gave yeah. it up in spades. You got the EIA number, I think it traded to 74, right. and then it just collapsed within right. the span of like four hours. It was exactly. down to 71 or something like that. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Welcome back, folks. Uh, let's see. Crude inventories rose 1.85 million barrels. Gasoline inventories rose 1.53 million barrels. Now, that's uh, totally different from the... Uh, API last night. We had a draw last night. Yeah, in regards to API, expectation for EIA was looking for a draw itself, also. no matter what. So, okay. jumping back to the chart, we'll get over here, and oil jumping around a bit. <laughs> going up. Nothing too dramatic, too, <laughs> yeah. Nothing too Look dramatic just yet. Uh, we're trading at about 71, 75 coming into that number. Yep. And uh, these are five-minute bars we're looking at. This bar just opened up at 1030. And as it usually takes, we, we, we follow oh, yeah. this every week. And... Uh, Look at that. It's rising as we speak, approaching $72. Now, keeping in mind, right, the, the 11 a.m. possibilities we looked at, that was a straight volatility trade because we were getting in with exposure from yes. almost right where it was trading at at the time, 71.75. If you were trading the noons or the 230s, you just want volatility, but it would have been helpful to have a little bearish volatility right. because, as you can see, you just got 25 cents of movement, and you actually reached your max loss position, right. which would be $72 for that noon or 2.30. But guess what? The noon's got 90 minutes. The 2.30's got four hours. We know that oil's going to do some big things. In, and in it, it was wild is that, you know, if you just look at the fundamentals, it's like the market's so deviant that, okay, hold it. You know, we didn't get a draw. Yes. You got... Um, a, Bottom line of build, yeah, yeah. and my, it still goes up. Oh, for sure. You, you know, know you, you let's bring the economist on that talks about supply and demand, right? right? And guess what? They would have said, okay, price is going down. We have more oil supply, supply side right. more oil. Prices go down. Um, yeah, so you, 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 you get a. I mean, look at that swing. Oh, swing definitely. From 1.8 bill to a 1.5 negative. Right. So the market was looking for a decline in the inventories. We ended up getting 1.8 million barrel builds. And uh, breaking down the numbers even more, gasoline you were talking about, we saw a build of 1.5. Estimate was about an increase of 700K. Uh, distillates saw a decrease of 2.2 million. Estimate yeah. was just barely positive for an increase of 200,000. Uh, and they talk about a lot in this in this EIA report, of oh, course. Sure. Demand right. across the board. Imports, production. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. There's a lot more than the headline number that goes into whether people are buying or selling. And look at that. Oh, We're back there, you, there you go. <laughs> Just give it a few minutes. The market's waking up. They're saying, hold on a second, man. Well, we, There's well, more we, oil than we thought. What yeah, are we doing trading well, up? What we mean to give it a few minutes, folks, is that now oil just went from the 72.05 level uh, to yeah. 71.79. Yeah. And, uh, you know, when these spikes are important because they... Came, it came right into where they sold it down last night. Is that last night? This is, yeah, this is 7 a.m. right here. Okay, cool. So, so you can see. The, and even going back, this the, is the overnight. We're as high as about 72.37 yeah. in this contract. But, uh, yeah, even backing it up, we were just right here at 8 o'clock last night. And, of course, you back it up yesterday, a lot of volatility. Tuesday morning, yesterday morning, we're up to 72.73. We're now almost a full dollar below that level, but pretty interesting. Five-minute bar we're looking at again, so we're about three and a half minutes into this bar. Spiked up 20 cents, back down. We'll see what happens. We'll check back in throughout the hour. Totally. Yeah. <laughs> Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow right now up 50. You get the Nasdaq up 17. S&P's up 4.5. 
Uh, oil, oil contract uh, 7205. Yeah, one ch one check back in before the end of the hour. It's about 10:55 right now, and we we're trading at 71.75 when that news came in. We traded as high as 72.17. Oil trading at 72.03. One of the contracts. We better do this quick as oil just falls. Yeah, falls exactly. Uh, the 11 a.m.s. And that's what it's about to expire. Yes. I say 11 is the expiration. Uh, your bullish spread is the one that would have value. And you're looking at about, as it times like, we better do this comparison right. quick. Oil just dropped to like 15 cents as yeah. I'm looking at it. Um, but you'd still have $22 of value. Out of the 40. Yeah, right? Is it 40? 41? 40, yeah. 41 for yeah. both contracts. Right. So your bullish one has value. And, geez, you know, we're talking too quick. By the time 11 o'clock rolls around, who knows where oil is going to be as that's it moves. Uh, and then the noons, of course. You have until noon or you have until 2.30, but if you were making that volatility trade, you're within two pennies of your max loss for $72 right now. Right. You but do not want it at 72 You do not for those noons. The good thing is that the market looks like it's still trying to figure out what it wants oh, to it do, is. you know, in terms of getting 15-cent moves in the span of a few seconds here and there. Yeah. yeah. Yep.